Hey guys, just a really quick unplanned video, uh, just to update you guys on some information as it comes to hand, as they say. It seems that there's a new variant of COVID-19 called the Omicron or something like that, some new variant. And apparently it doesn't exist in Japan yet and things here have been pretty much under control. So they've been like between 70 and 80%, depending on who you listen to, between 70 and 80% of Japanese people have been fully vaccinated. And the new cases of COVID are at the lowest they've been for more than a year or something. So it's sort of right down to 100 or 200 a day or something like that, small numbers. So sort of, they're, they're feeling like they've got it under control, which, which is why they're intending to start opening the doors and letting people come in, as we reported recently. However, this Omicron variant or whatever it is, doesn't exist in Japan yet and they don't want it to. So their solution is to close the doors again. So there was reports from all over the place today that they're closing the doors to all foreign nationals um, pretty much from straight away, which is complicated. It, it obviously, we feel sorry for people who are intending to come here for a holiday uh, and people who are coming, intending to come here on business and people who intend to come here to, stu to study. We feel really sorry for those guys. But unfortunately, what also happens when they do that, and they've done this in the past, is that the foreign nationals who live here uh, and have, might have lived here for 20 years, but they've left for some reason to go visit their, their family in another country or go to another country for some reason, they can't come back in either, which is sort of... You know, it's catching the foreign residents as well. And that happened last time they did this. And a whole bunch of people who live here, whose homes were here and jobs were here and lives were here. And, you know, people like us who've given up our home countries have nothing in our home countries anymore. We don't have a home there. We don't have any possessions there. We don't have any money there. A lot of us have given up everything from our own countries and have nothing there anymore. Um, and then if we're not allowed back in here, this is where our homes and our children and our, our families are and our lives, our jobs, our income, our bank accounts, everything. So unfortunately, every time they do that, I know it's not going to affect a lot of you guys in that way, but, but they're the people we think of straight away because we relate to those people, you know. But of course, it sucks for a lot of people. It sucks for people who are coming here for holidays or to study or to do business or for whatever other reason they were planning on coming here. So uh, we have to keep in mind these things are only temporary, aren't they? This isn't forever, this situation, you know? Um, it's sort of understandable in some ways that these guys, you know, because they're starting to get it under control a bit and when they, they hear about this stuff that they panic a bit and that they think this is a good solution. So probably for some of them it seems, you know, the guys, when I say them, I'm talking about the guys, the old guys who make all the decisions here the guys in the government that make all the decisions, probably sitting around their table, it probably seemed like a smart thing to do, and, and probably some people would agree with them that it's a smart thing to do too. Um, others that we've heard comment already would probably think that it's adequate just to make sure that anybody that comes has been either checked recently or has been vaccinated, fully vaccinated, should be enough, um, or go into quarantine, or a com combination of the three. Would, be, would, would seem to be enough, but their solution is just to close the doors. So it sucks, it really, really sucks. The, people we, the other people we feel sorry for is, as we've mentioned before, we do business with a lot of English-speaking people in Japan because of our English-friendly directory, and a lot of the people in there, on there rely on tourism. And for some of them, it's just been nothing. For the last two years, their businesses have just stopped. You know, the tour companies that we that we recommend to you guys all the time, you know, their business has just stopped because their whole their whole life is is foreign tourism, foreign, foreign tourists coming to Japan. And so, you know, for those guys, they've been screwed for the last couple of years. And, you know, and all the others, we just had two meters of snow. And this is, sorry, sorry to mention this to those of you who are into skiing, but the last week uh, up in Nagano, um, in central Japan, up in Hakuba, those guys had two meters of snow over the last week and so they're all jumping around going yeah look at this you know we've got two meters of snow it's the end of november we've got two meters of snow off we go and because there's more above average snowfall is uh, has been predicted for the next couple of months 
So those guys were getting all excited, they were about to have a good season. And of course this is, you know, really shot them down. Obviously they're still going to get domestic tourists, they're going to get people like us that might want to go visit anyway, so they will get domestic tourists. But again, a lot of the English speaking ones that we deal with really heavily rely on the, on the inbound tourism. You know, and so those guys will suffer too, and all the other restaurants and all the other people, the, the people that also rely on that industry, you know, tourism and hotels and, and our friends that have the, the accommodation up there in Huckaburr and the, the restaurants up there and, you know, and Niseko and all the other places that, that, that get busy in the, in the snow season. So that affects us too, unfortunately, guys. We're just starting to get to a point our income on the English Family Directory has obviously plummeted over the last year or two because a lot of these guys couldn't pay for their advertising on the English Family Directory. So our income has plummeted as a result and it was just starting to look to the point where it was going to start to pick up again and some of these guys might be able to start paying through advertising again and everybody is starting to feel a bit more positive and now they've been shot down again. So it, it's going to hit us again too. So, so just I can't talk about that particular point without just saying if you're not supporting us on PayPal or on Patreon please consider doing that because <laughs> it's going to be a pretty rough couple of months you know December is always, always tough here uh, as far as our expenses get more because we've got huge heating costs and things like that and the income drops because our, our normal work drops and now with the English friendly uh, people not being able to pay their bills, that's going to drop even further. Because we can't, we can't pressure those guys to pay for advertising when they can't get customers. So that's not fair, is it? So we've been sort of, sort of supporting a lot of those businesses as well. So, so again, if you're not supporting us on Patreon or PayPal, under every video there's a link to both of those. So yeah, sorry guys, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but like we always say, our job is to tell you guys what we see and hear. And this has been the, pretty much the number one topic in amongst the people that we uh, communicate with on a daily basis. It's been a huge topic all day today. So just wanted to let you know as soon as, as soon as possible. So we just have to look at the big picture. It's not forever, you know. Um, it might mean some of you aren't going to be able to get here this snow season. But, you know, this, this nonsense will pass, won't it? And life will return to normal again. And, you know, we'll all be able to get back to normal lives again, won't we, at some point at some time in the future. So it's getting better. I mean, if you look at the numbers, the numbers in Japan are getting much better. So it's now it's more a case of they're worried about other people and, and the situations, you know, and that's obviously why they don't want people coming in. They've sort of got it under control here a bit, pretty much, and then they're worried about flaring up again. So anyway, we'll keep you informed as, as things develop, as things change again. Um, we'll keep you informed as to what's going on. Anyway, there it was. From the, from the un, unskilled labourer's man cave. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the next, the, the preparation for the next project. More videos coming soon. <laughs>